Good morning! Today I'm in Yamagata Prefecture in Shonai Town, which is pretty close to the coast on the Japan seaside of northern Japan. This has actually become one of my favorite spots in northern Japan this year. I've been out here a couple times to visit my friend Natsuki, who is from this area, and I just fell in love with it. It's so gorgeous. Today I'm actually joining a cycling tour of the area. We're going to cycle through the countryside and make some stops at different sightseeing spots along the way and basically just get to know the area a little more. We're starting off somewhere where I'm going to make a present for my grandma actually, so let's go do that. After the Meiji Restoration in the late 1800s, the samurai of the Shonai area had to give up their sword fighting days and find a new way to live. The two major exports at the time were raw silk and tea, so they decided to transform the Shonai area into what has now become one of the most famous silk producers in all of Japan. So I have to choose a color now and it's really hard. If you only use the natural sakura color, this is what you will end up with. Golden yellowy color. But if you add some other dyes to it, you can kind of make it more slightly on the pink side, which I think my grandma would like. for the best part we're picking up our bikes these are electric bikes that we're using today i absolutely love these if you get kind of tired riding throughout the day you just turn the electric boost on and it's super easy Honestly, joining a cycling trip for the day is not only the perfect way to experience the Japanese countryside, it's also a really great way to meet new people and make some new friends. Our next stop is Hanabusa Soy Sauce Brewery, which was founded in 1823 and has been passed down for 15 generations. What makes this brewery so special is how committed they are to continuing the traditional manufacturing methods. Ramen restaurants in the area proudly display made with Hanabusa soy sauce on their shop signs as it's known for being especially delicious. It's over 100 years old. It's really cool. It's so different than the other soy sauce factories I've been to. So yeah, we're gonna get a little tour of the place and then we're gonna do some tasting and I can't wait because it smells amazing in here. これが何だかわかりますか。ちょっと置きますね。これ、お醤油です。醤油を絞った。絞り ちょっと今日この作業入ってませんでしたけど、牛さんが食べてくれるんでした。発酵食品なので体にいいかな。あれの絞る前がこの蔵の中に1年半とか2年くらい寝かせております。え、醤油って全部そんな長く寝かせます
my usual soy sauce. This is so much better. <laughs> ah, she's going to give me some hoshigaki to hang up on my porch and dry them myself in Morioka. Arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah, I'm Hi. Hey, in this car. Mitchu Rishi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Lunch. I'm getting hungry after all this bike riding. It looks so good. I love hummus and it doesn't really exist in Japan <laughs> except for when you go to like specialty cafes. We're gonna eat this super quick. That was one of the best meals I've had in Japan, actually. That was amazing. The vegetables tasted so fresh. I'm really excited about that. I feel good and healthy now. And we're about to cycle four, seven kilometers, so. is Sokoji Temple. It's so nice. It feels so refreshing because it's in the shade and it's just surrounded by streams, little fountains. It's beautiful here. I've never been here before. We're gonna have a little tea break here, have some matcha, and uh, we're going to do a Buddhist meditation activity called Shakyo. You guys will see a little bit more about that when we do it. So today we are trying out Shakyo, the mindful tracing of the Buddhist sutras using a calligraphy pen. Originally started as a way of spreading the teachings of Buddha, nowadays Shakyo is practiced as a way of relaxing and purifying oneself, both mentally and physically, regardless of your beliefs. Many Buddhist temples in Japan offer this experience for their visitors. All right, it's matcha time. I've been looking forward to this. I love matcha so much. And the view of this garden is just perfect. Couldn't ask for anything else. And they've given us these cute little sweets to eat along with the tea. I've never had these before. I think they're like a powdered sugar. Yeah, they're like a powdered sugar candy that balances out the bitterness of the green tea. And they're a really good combination. That was so nice and relaxing. I really recommend dropping into a Buddhist temple if there's one in the area that you're visiting. You can just pop in, have some matcha, enjoy the beautiful views in their gardens. It's really common for them to have little activities like that that you can enjoy here. We're off to watch a Maiko performance now, which I've actually never seen before. So back during the Edo period, Sakata City, this area here, was a famous shipping port. So because of that, they had a really thriving entertainment industry, including geisha and Maiko performances. And some of those establishments are still around today. And that's where we're going now. We're going to a place called Somaro, and we're going to see a Maiko performance. あの、<笑><笑> <laughs> 
And that concludes our tour for the day. That was so cool to see the micro performance. I'd never seen one before and I expected it to be more subtle, but apparently the style of dance that they use up here in Sakata is a little more lively. And yeah, it was amazing. It was really beautiful to watch. Their singing was just like, I was blown away by that. If you guys are interested in doing a similar bike tour to what I did today, I'll have the information down below in the description box. So please do check it out. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.